Small Scale Business Organizations Part 1 In this module, you will learn about sole trading concerns. Business organizations are broadly classified into four types. These are business organizations in private sector, business organizations in public sector, joint sector business organizations and public utilities. The small-scale business organizations of private sectors are divided into three subtypes. These include sole trading concerns, partnership firms and Hindu undivided family firms. Let us understand about sole trading concerns and their disadvantages. Sole trading concerns are the simplest forms of business organizations. Sole trading concerns are run by a single person called as a sole trader. He is the owner and manager of the firm. The sole trader is the loan beneficiary of the profits and also responsible for any losses. He is the one who invests all the capital money required to run the business. Sole trader takes help from his family members or appoint workers to help him in business. Generally, sole trading concerns are small in size, but nowadays they operate on big scale too. There are many advantages in starting a sole trading organization. Let us learn about them in brief. For starting a sole trading concern, no legal formalities are required. It can be started with own capital money. There are no difficulties in day-to-day -day running of the business. Owner of the business enjoys all the profits as well as bears all the losses. The sole traders come into direct contact with consumers. They understand the likes and dislikes of consumers and supply goods accordingly. They also provide some social services, namely employment and distribution of wealth. Sole trading concerns pay taxes, rates and duties to the government. The sole trading concerns can take quick decisions regarding business and also maintain secrets. Despite having many advantages, the sole trading concerns do face some disadvantages. Let us know about them. The capital money of sole trading concerns is limited, which hinders the expansion of the business. Since the sole trading concerns are run by a single person, the managerial ability is limited. This in turn affects the decision-taking ability of the firm. Since a single person heads the sole trading concern, all the losses have to be borne by a single person only. Life of the sole trading concerns might be short. It may close down with the death or insolvency of the sole trader. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on sole trading concerns.